I mean, my body was de deteriorating. I started to get um, blurry vision and really bad headaches and joint pain. For months, Amy Watkins of Bangor suffered. She saw a rheumatologist, a neurologist, and an infection disease specialist, searching for answers on why her body was failing. In 2008, she was finally diagnosed with Lyme disease. It changed my life drastically. I mean, I had, you know, I have two children, and they were um, like middle school age at the time, and you know, I needed help taking care of them. Like Watkins, photographer Denise Lilly of Hamden is also living with Lyme. She says, it felt like my body was shutting down at the most basic level, like all of my cells were filled with molasses. But Lyme doesn't just affect Lily, it also affects her sons. She says both of my sons have Lyme disease and other tick-borne illnesses. My oldest had a tick bite when he was 15 months old, and despite being treated with 21 days of amoxicillin right away, he has had symptoms and issues ever since. Chiropractor Debbie Baker is a Lyme laser specialist who says people with Lyme shouldn't have to suffer. Her practice in Hamden is an affiliate of Lyme Laser New England. There, when they first come in, we do what's called an assessment to give an indication of which organs and systems are being affected by Lyme disease. And based on that information, the corporate develops a specific, very specific nutrient protocol. And then we also have uh, five or six different therapies that are appropriate to help restore and regenerate the body. Baker says a bullseye at the location of a tick bite is not always proof one has Lyme. Some people have Lyme without the rash or bullseye mark. That was the case for Amy Watkins. It's easier to say, yeah, I have Lyme if, if you find the tick and you get it tested and all that, but I never found it. Be your own advocate because it's still one of those controversial diseases. In Bangor, I'm Jody Hersey for ABC7 and Fox 22.